Talk with Dan is proud to present the Atomic Game Show. Here's your master of ceremonies, Not Dan! Hey, 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 how's it going? I am Not Dan, and welcome back to round two of the Atomic Game Show, Ions and Isotopes Edition. All right, let's take a look at our categories. We have the atomic number, protons, electrons, neutrons, mass number, mass notation, and isotopic notation. Now we will need to fill out every single one of these squares based only on the information provided. All right, so let's go. Let's take a look at our first one. It says we have Cl, which is chlorine, and 37 over 17. Well, this number right here is the atomic number. So 17 is the atomic number. And the atomic number and the number of protons are the same number. So here we go. 17. Now when it comes to the electrons, well, do we see a charge over here? No, we do not. So protons and electrons are the same. Now for the neutrons, we take 37 minus 17. The difference of that is 20. So we have 20 neutrons. And 37 right here is the mass number. Now for the mass notation, all we do is we take the name, which is chlorine dash the mass, which is 37. All right, very good. Let's take a look at the next row. All right, so once again, the atomic number is 17. So that means our number of protons is 17. But we have 18 electrons and 18 neutrons. So how do we find the mass number? We simply add the protons and the neutrons to get 35. Now for the mass notation, so it's since it's the same number of protons, it's still chlorine, but this time the mass is 35. And now for the isotopic notation, we take the symbol, which is Cl. We have the mass number, which is 35. We have the atomic number, which is 17, but hold on, we're not done. Did you notice that the protons and the electrons are not the same amount? Which means this is an ion. All right, so to find the charge, we take the protons minus the electrons. So 17 minus 18 is negative one. All right, so if we take a look at these two, these two are both chlorine. They have the same number of protons, but a different mass. Therefore, these are isotopes. This particular atom has no charge, so it is a neutral atom. This one has a charge, so we call that an ion. So thank you so very much, but wait, there's more. We have the bonus round. All right, so we will tank our second ion, which is CL3517, the charge of negative one, and we will need to draw the Bohr model and an E dot structure. All right, so here we go. In the uh, nucleus, we have protons, we have neutrons. Well, we just wrote that down. That's 17 and 18. And since this has a charge of negative one, and we just said that it has 18 electrons, we're going to start filling up our energy levels. The first level is two. The second level can hold eight. That right there is 10 electrons, which means we still need eight more. And fortunately for us, the third level can hold eight electrons. So there we go. That is our Bohr model. And now for the E dot structure, we simply take the symbol, which in this case is CL. And please imagine that there is a, an, an invisible box surrounding the, the symbol here, which, okay, so there's not really, but I just drew that there so you could see it. Pretend like you can only put two dots per side. Now what do the dots represent? They're going to represent the valence electrons, which are the electrons in the outermost level. All right, so this one has eight electrons. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's how it's done. But what if, what if this was not an ion and had only seven electrons there? Okay, well, instead of putting eight dots, we put one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven dots. Remember, only two per side, and the only amount of dots are going to represent the valence electrons. Not all of the electrons, but the valence electrons. So thank you so very much for watching. You are a winner today on the Atomic Game Show. Remember, I'm not Dan. 
and neither are you. Check you later. Yeah, 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 you're right, then I've got the blue.